All right, guys, we have another tutorial. This time we're gonna be working on line art. Um, a lot of people wanna know what like, brush I use, how I get my lines done. So uh, I wanted to do this quick tutorial. It's probably gonna be a short one because it's just lines, it's not colors or nothing. And we're gonna ink this. So first thing you do is you sketch, right? You got your sketch done. This is basically my sketch of an F. So I lower the opacity like halfway. Make a new layer above it. Put my pen on whatever color you want. I usually use black. And the pen I use is, oh, it's uh, my own custom pen. It's called Base Technical Pen. It's basically just this pen right here. If you have Procreate, go to the inking tab and then go to Technical Pen. This, this one right here. But what I did is I added like a texture to it and uh, modified some of the settings a little bit. So this is what mine looks like. Make it bigger. See, it's like flat edges and it has like a texture, weird texture to it. So what I do is I put it on like 10 so it's kind of skinny. And then I just line it on the best I can. Try to imitate my original lines. So what I do is like on the left side, usually I'll do like a thick line. And then once I start getting to the right side, I'll start making it skinnier, if that makes any sense. So like thick, pressing down hard, and I just slowly loosen it up. I already do that one. So I press hard and then I slowly let go of the brush, like make it super. But I gotta keep redoing it because I don't really like this shape of the hat. <laughs> Alright, and another thing I do is like, see how you have like a shadow? Basically underneath this hat. I make the line underneath thicker, so. Basically, it's gonna be like double shadow. And add some like texture lines. Just like in random spots. Just anywhere where there's a shadow, I'll put like thick lines. So there would be a shadow on this side. So we'll do that. And for eyebrows, I usually make them like super thick, but uh, I'll close off the end and I'll do like some swipes like that. Kind of looks like eyebrows. Eyes. So what I do for eyes usually, the top lines, like that, basically what eyelashes would be, I make those thick. So like, boom, boom. This is gonna be like the thickest line, basically. So I do something like that, and then I'll put like some lines showing like that there's eyelids right here. And I do like the little tear duct right there. And I never like close off the eyes. So I'll put like a line here and then like a line in here. Just basically showing that's where the eye ends. Where I'm gonna, when I do the white later, it's gonna be like, that's where I stop. And then the little just black pupil, like that. And then I add like a wrinkle right here. Something like that. And that's what I do. And the nose is, mm, depending on the way I draw them, because I always draw them different. I'll put like black underneath the nose. Some swipes. 
wipes. And that little nut, and that little lip butt right there. And some like lines on top just showing that like that's where the, the bridge ends, you know? It's like, it's a little bump on your nose. So let me do this one now. I'm trying to show you guys like almost exactly how I do it. But I'm like trying to explain it. So hopefully you guys get what I'm saying. mouth on the edges I start off super thick and then once I get to the middle I let go of the pen so it's like transparent almost and then once I get to the end I start thickening it up again so you see that thick to thin and then I just do like the outlinings of the lips I don't really draw like the whole lip that's like where his chin would be We're gonna do a super thick line underneath his chin too. Just cause it has like a cat shadow. So I would do it like this. Boom, boom, bump a clock. And then I have like, doom, doom, doom. Just some sketchy little lines. Makes it look a little cooler. <laughs> a little throat jugular and then we have a little bit of detail when I do like the lines on clothing and stuff I do like the thick to thin the thick to thin that's how I do it and then the outline of the clothing I'll put the brush on like 15 so clothing on the outside I always make it thicker than the line work on the inside just because I like that style looks super comic booky to me so like thin on the inside thick on the outside dummy thick boom 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 bam bang boom bang I'm not too good at drawing wrinkles yet so don't mind me. And then for like the shirt, like I'm gonna start off thin and then go thick, bam. And I'll add like a little bit of, of a thicker line at the bottom just to show that it's like in shadow. Okay, and then when I do things like strings and stuff, I make a new layer. And then I'll add like 
one string. I'll duplicate it. Then I'll drag it over. And then I'll combine those two. So now you got one string and then you just close it off. Close it on off. Something I do like that. All right, then you're gonna make a a cheat way. You can do it is just duplicate that string. Boom. And you got two strings right there. And I'll just like flip it so it looks a little different, like that maybe. That's perfect. Then I go to my first line layer and I erase this line Bam. easy squeezy combine them make one more layer because I have this other rope so I'm gonna put it on like this and I'm overshooting it duplicate bring it over bop and then what we're gonna do is erase some of that Erase it here, erase it here, and then erase it there. So, we'll merge all that. And then let's add these balloons. Make a new layer. Shape's fine. I'm just gonna keep duplicating it. I'll make a different one. Feels like I'm on the edge right now. Boom. Bang. All right, does those look like balloons? They look a little small. Let me add one more. All right, and what I'm gonna do now, just like the bottoms of things, I'm gonna add like a darker line. So, make this a little bigger. 16 is fine. So like, basically it's gonna be like the shadows, you know? Just wherever I think a shadow would be, cause I'm not like, perfecto. I'm just gonna add like a little bit of bing bing, bing, bing pop. Maybe like a shadow here. side of the string maybe like a little shadow underneath this hoodie the hood part maybe like a little shadow let's bring that all the way around bang 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 Little bit of a thick side. 
All right, and underneath this line too, boom. Boop. Bop. All right, that's basically it. That's pretty much all it would do. It's had like a thicker line on this side, actually. Now that I think about it. I'm just adding like random scratchy lines. I usually just add a random little scratches around everywhere just to give it a grittier feel. I don't know. It's just something I do. Alright. That's basically what I do for line work. And this is just basically I'll show you that last trick that I do all the time too. Um, I'm not going to color this. At least not right now. Basically all you need to do is follow my other tutorial on how to color. But the last trick I would do after you don't do lines is duplicate the lines. Hit it with that blur. Boom, look at that. It looks way better with the blur. And then your colors and stuff like that. And it'll look crispy, man. And then pretty soon you guys will have like a cool NF drawing. Hopefully this helped you guys. Super quick tutorial. Uh, just basically how I do my lines. Thicks to thins. Um, shadows, like dark black shadows um i'm not like the best at shadows and all that but i just put them where i think they look nice so um if this helped you guys please uh drop a comment below and let me know what else you guys need help on um we did a color tutorial how i color so uh, you guys can watch that one now we have the lines um i don't know maybe the next one will be like how do i sketch my characters before i do the line art I think that'd be pretty dope. I don't know, but if there's something you guys want to see, let me know. Drop a comment below, and uh, we'll talk about it. Uh, love you guys. Thank you. Peace out.